So hello everyone, in this video we'll be understanding how we can set up the server for Passport.js application uh, which I have shown you earlier in the playlist. So let's create this folder here. I have already created this work folder. Inside this I'll be creating the application first or the Node.js basic application first and installing some packages. So basically you just need to open it with Visual Studio Code. You can use any type of editor you want. I'll be using Visual Studio Code because that's the best, best I think. I can open an integrated terminal for this folder and inside that I can set up some npm init command here. So basically I don't want you. So I can write npm init here. Now I can say yes to all uh, the prompts which will be coming. So let's make enter enter for all of them. So there will be a package.json file created. You can see here. This is the package.json file. And in here I can first of all delete this test and I can create a dev command here and inside this dev I can write not bond server dot oh, sorry index.js that will be my starting file I can write index.js or any file which, which you want to create you can just write the name here server.js make sure you are using the same in here as well in the main now for the development I'll be using nodmon which is a package which allows us to refresh the server file if we save anything or if we make any changes to the server file or this index.js which will contain our server code so it will automatically refresh this file or this server we don't have to manually restart the server and before that I'll be installing some packages before starting the server we need some packages the packages are express.env express session passport and passport google oauth2 let me just confirm the name again yeah so I have a typo here oauth2 so all these packages you can install and we can wait for that while they're installing after the installation we can set up index.js file uh, meanwhile they are setting up or meanwhile they are installing I can set up the server here which will be const uh, express I can use express variable here or the constant here I can create I can call this package which is express I can create an app constant uh, and I can use the express to set up this app I can just use app.listen to listen on a specific port let's say 5000 and I can add a callback function here and I can add some console log that we are listening on this port actually listening on let's say port 5000 right so we can similarly create a get route here 
uh, let's say I have to use some middlewares as well so I can use app dot use and express dot JSON well that is not needed but you should make a habit of using it because uh, this express dot JSON will allow any data from front end to to back end which in the form of JSON so we can send any type of data if it is a JSON format data so we can send that from the front end to back end similarly I can use express dot uh, first of all let me just create a client folder here in which I can serve my front end files or I can directly create anything but let me just create one index.js file or index.html file which I'll be serving from the backend so I can use it let's say I have this Google O auth 2 I can add Google O auth 2 with passport just let's say and I can set up one a tag which will point to a page called let's say auth Google so it will be a route which we'll be creating in the back end first let's just create this so I can write login with Google here simply I can save that and to serve this index.html we just need to serve it with the express.static we also need one more package here which is our path which is already built in Node.js so we don't need to actually import it or install it from anywhere you can use path and I can simply write dir name or the directory name and then after that I can specify the client folder so it will uh, serve express application or this express backend will serve everything which is inside this client folder with the help of this and I'm using paths because uh, sometimes there are some systems in which we don't use forward slashes uh, instead we use backward slashes so for solving that kind of problems we are using this uh, path function so basically that will be for that so I can serve this on a get route uh, by using app.get here and I can use app.get and I can add an arrow function inside this arrow function we get request and responses I can send the file which is index.html I can serve that so simply you are set with this initial process which is to set up the server and let's run this first and see if it works or not so I can use npm uh, run dev so I can use npm run dev that will serve this index.html file I can also add some styling if I want so meanwhile I'm, I'm not styling anything so the initial project I shown you in that I added some styling so you can also do that okay let me just uh, check this once more one more time so path path dot join yeah I forgot that so that should work now you can see it is uh, saying it is running on this port let's refresh this page again you can see uh, the initial page is served here so this is our index.html file which is here 
I can add some styling here if I want so that is up to you you can also do that process so let's create our next process in the next video thank you for watching we'll be setting passport js in the next video thank you